Hi there, I'm going to be delivering a short tutorial on Google Classroom and Google Meet to show you exactly how to engage with it and what it looks like on the screen. I'm going to be showing you through the Internet Explorer, however I'm also going to be showing you some screenshots that I've taken from my phone so that anyone who's working um, from, a, from a mobile phone can see what it looks like there as well. Obviously the first thing to do when you're on the Internet Explorer is to um, type in Google Classroom into Google, search for it, take the first tab and it will take you to the login page. Now students should have a login, um, if they haven't then they can reset their password, they can register on there. This is obviously my account here, so I type in my password and here I am. Whilst that's logging in, this will take me straight to the overview page where I can see all of the lessons, all of the classes, sorry, that I'm enrolled to. So here you can see I've got science for PE teachers, which is um, the teacher there is Mr. Mr. Spencer. And he's created that purely for this tutorial. You can see the other classes that I've got. So I've got staff CPD, year 12 PE, year 13 PE. That, those are, are my classes. This is a complete overview of all of the lessons, all of the classrooms that you're attached to once you've accepted the invite. On the top left hand corner here, you've got the main menu. And if I click on that, it will show again my classes. And as students, you won't obviously have some that you are a teacher for and some that you're enrolled as a student. Yours will purely be enrolled and you have the list here, but that's exactly the same as this screen here. And if at any point I want to get back to this screen, if I just click classes, so main menu classes, it will take me back here. If I go to um, here, this is my screenshots from my phone. This is what it looks like on your mobile phone. You just have um, a list that you can scroll through of all of your classrooms. And that is the main menu button, exactly the same as it is on the web browser. You can see here, test quiz and MMR. They are two pieces of work that are outstanding for that class. So a quite a handy little feature there on the phone. Straight away you can see for each class, what work is outstanding. Okay, if I go back to Chrome. So I've got here um, all of my classes and I can click on it and it takes me into the classroom. And so this is my lesson, this is my classroom. And I've got here at the top three options. I've got the stream, the classwork and the people. The stream is where the teacher will publish information and it will have notifications as to pieces of work that have been set. Similar to Facebook or Twitter or social media where you have a stream of chronological information, this is exactly the same. You can see that there was something posted at 9.43 today, there was something posted on the 11th of Jan and again so on and so forth. And I may get messages here from the teacher as well. So hello PE teachers, we have a live lesson on Wednesday, see the calendar, I have set you a task for this week. If I go back to my PowerPoint here, what does this look like on the mobile phone? It looks exactly the same. You can scroll through the stream there and it will have all of the exact same information that we've just seen on the Chrome um, web page. So what can I do from here? Well, I can click on individual pieces of work and it will take me into them. So Fernhill Live posted a new testing quiz and that will take me to the piece of work. I can either click here and go back to classes or if I just want to go back to this specific classroom, I click up here and it takes me back. Um, I can go to classwork here, and sorry, if I go back to stream, here, this is any work that is upcoming. So any work that needs to be completed, that is outstanding, will show in this box here. When I go to classwork, here you can see all of the work that um, has been set. And what I can do is I can click on the individual piece of the work and it will tell me, for example, this one, I've handed it in. So that's fine. This one, I've handed it in. This one, it's been assigned, but it hasn't been handed in. And you can see the resources for it as well. Um, so what I can do also from here is I can click view your work and it will show you all of the pieces of work that have been set and whether they've been handed in or assigned. Again, really, really useful. Again, again I can scroll across here and show you what it looks like from a phone. So here, if I go to classwork, I've got assigned, missing and done. So those tabs obviously usefully break, 
break down exactly what it is that I've got. And you've even got tabs for next week and later on this week or stuff that's got no due date whatsoever. So if I go back here to the classroom, um, I'm going to go to classwork and this one here is nuclear magnetic resonance, which is work that Mr. Spencer has set for me. Obviously, he's wanted to challenge me a little bit here and I can go into the piece of work um, here. I can open it up. Oh, I'm opening and closing it here. I can, sorry, here, view the assignment. So I can access the work from here, but I can view the assignment here. When I go to view the assignment, if I've got any issues or any problems with this assignment, I can put a private comment, which will go straight to the teacher. So let's go to Mr. Spencer. So I can say, um, uh, need more help, please. Whatever your, your question or your query or the comment will be that you want to uh, let the teachers know, you can put it there and the chain will show. So when Mr. Spencer replies, it will crop up here and I can see the, the chain of communication. I can click on the individual pieces of work here. So this is a YouTube video that Mr. Spencer has put into it, which is great. It opens it up and I can watch that. So it's a little bit of extra support there for me. I can either click back to go back to that page, or if I just click outside the video, it closes it automatically. And again, I've got a worksheet here. Now, obviously I can't edit this worksheet. It's a PDF and I've got, so I've got all my notes that I've got to read through, and then I've got task 1A, and I need to do all the tasks on here. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to complete the classwork, um, and I'm going to do it on this post-it note here. I fill out the task, complete it. So I'm writing it all on paper and I go back. So I've completed the work, but obviously I haven't, I haven't submitted because it's on paper in front of me. So what I can do here, I can mark as done, but obviously I need to send the work to Mr. Spencer. So I can add or create and I can put in here, these are Google Docs or if I've got, uh, if I want to put a file, I can click file and I can go straight from my Google Drive or I can browse and I can go to my documents. So I can go here and I can go to my hard drive and that kind of thing there. Now, I'm gonna show you what this looks like from um, a phone as well. So if I've taken a picture of my work, I need to save it onto my computer before I can send it off. It's actually a little bit easier from a phone. If I go to the phone here um, and here we go. So if I go here, so I've opened up the assignment and you can see that's the video that I just showed you. And that's the PDF um, booklet that I just showed you here. If I click on your work, so I've read, read the uh, booklet and I've completed the tasks. I've also watched the video. I can click on your work at the bottom and it will go to this. It will open up a little bit and it will have add attachment. When I click add attachment, I get this option. And again, I can go to my Google Drive, I can go to a file on my phone, I can pick a photo if I've already taken a photo, or I can use my camera and snap a photo right there and then. That will obviously upload, I can take a picture of my post-it note or upload, and then I can send that straight into the classroom and Mr. Spencer will get access to that. Really, really useful. Um, so I've done that and then this piece of work, once I've um, completed it, will change to hand it in. If I go back here, the last tab that I want to show you is people and Fernhill Live, this is Mr. Spencer. If I hover here, it will show you the email address. If I click this here, it will open up a new tab in which I can email Mr. Spencer and I can message him and ask any questions, tell him that I've done the work, whatever it is that I want to communicate with him, I can do that through there. Again, on the phone, and so I'm scrolling through the slides here, it looks exactly the same. So when you go to um, here, when you click on the class, you can select at the bottom there, you've got stream, classwork and people. If I go to classwork, it'll take me to there. If I click people, it will take me to that exact same tab that I have on the web browser and I can email directly from there, which is really, really useful. Um, what I can do also, which is really handy, um, because if I go back to my stream, I can see that Mr. Spencer has uh, noted, 
we have a live lesson on Wednesday. See the calendar. If I go to my classwork, I can click on Google Calendar and it will open up. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to load. But the calendar shows me when work is due, all pieces of work that are due. So that NMR work is due for Friday. I can see that there. And if I click on that, it will take me into the assignment. There, I can actually go and look at the assignment. He's also put the live lesson that I've got. It's on Wednesday the 13th at 4.30. Again, really, really useful. If I click there, I can join the Google Meet. So I can click this button and it will take me directly to that Google Meet with Mr. Spencer. Now, if I clicked it at the moment, it's just gonna take me to a waiting room because obviously it isn't 4.30 on Wednesday and I'll just be sitting there waiting. But if when it gets to just before 30, if I click that, Mr. Spencer should be there waiting. If not, he'll be there at 4.30. And you can see who it's been set by, what lesson it is, um, and all the information is there. Again, you can email if you need to, but that is one of the ways in which you can get into the Google Meet if, if it's been assigned on your calendar by your teacher. And that's opened up in a new tab. So I can close that tab and it takes me back to the classroom. Um, here, view your work is just all of the work that's been left. I can't remember whether I've already shown you that. Um, but again, remember I've got the main menu here and I can go back to all of my classes or I can access the calendar. It's exactly the same as what I've just shown you. It will take you through to the calendar. Um, so I'm back to the overview of all my classes and I think I've covered absolutely everything that I wanted to cover there. I'll show you a couple of other pieces on the phone side of things. Um, that's a submitting of work. I've shown you that. What you can also do, obviously on your phone, which is handy, is set up notifications. And as you can see here, when Mr. Spencer posted um, a new test quiz, it came up directly as a notification on my phone so I can keep complete tabs on when work is being set when live lessons are. If you've linked it with a calendar as well, it'll tell you when a live lesson is starting. So there are perks to using a mobile phone um, that you don't get on the web browser. Um, but obviously both are really accessible and really easy to use. So I hope this tutorial has given you the ins and outs um, and the basics of how to use Google Classroom. I'm also going to suggest some links to professionally made Google Classroom tutorials, which can be found on YouTube quite easily. Just to talk you through it in a little bit more detail if you're still struggling, but the basics of the overview of your classroom, clicking on your individual classes and being able to access the work that needs to be done and the submitting of the work, hopefully that's given you everything you need to know and you're able to do that from now on. Um, any questions obviously get in touch with the school form tutors are a great place to start everyone's using google uh, classroom now so all staff know how to use it so please do get in touch if you're having any issues um, and i hope that helped thank you very much